Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. Today, we want to show you how to create reports using our app. Let's take a look at a small company that manufactures and sells merch all over the world using its own online shop. The boss asked his assistant Lewis to reward regular customers by sending them gifts. To get a list of the mailing addresses, he needs to select the desired group of customers. How can he do all of this with dBeaver? Lewis decided to choose the customers who made the most expensive one-time purchases and spent the most money on orders in total. To get a list of addresses for sending gifts, he needs to select customers with the amount of one purchase above the average, find the sum of payments for each billing address, choose customers who spent the most money on purchases in total, Export the results in a file format to add them to the report. To get started, Lewis needs to open the table with the purchase data for the last quarter. Go to the calculation panel and select the column with the payment amounts. By default, the calculation panel displays the count of selected rows, but Lewis also can choose one of the available functions for his column. In this case, he applies the AVG function. For online stores with free shipping, it makes sense to motivate customers to make one-time orders for larger amounts. Now Lewis knows the average purchase amount, and he can use this information to generate a report. To create a report, Lewis will use the grouping panel. It automatically groups data from the selected column by value and indicates the number of these values. To leave only purchases above the average in the table, our hero needs to apply the filter total is greater than the average purchase amount. Then he opens the grouping panel and drag and drop the billing address column into it. In the second column, you can see the number of purchases for each address. Here, Lewis can use a variety of custom functions. In his case, he adds a sum function to calculate the final payment amount for each customer. Now, Lewis can define the top spenders of all the products. To do this, he needs to sort the data in descending order. This can be done by clicking on the arrow in the column heading or changing the default sort in the top toolbar. Once the result set is ready, the boss's assistant can save it and add it to the report by going to the right-click context menu and choosing Export Data. Then he can select the file format and apply appropriate settings. For example, if he wants to export into Excel, he can limit the number of rows in a file, change row font, border style, etc. To collect statistics, Lewis can visualize the result set using the chart tab. With the context menu, he can save, print, or copy the chart to the clipboard. Now, after saving all the results, Lewis can click on the eraser button in the top toolbar to clear the grouping panel and move on to creating another report. Well done, Lewis. Nice job. You can read more about the calculation panel and the grouping panel on our wiki. Please check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.